Toot Brian's Toy Express collaboration is coming your way. Thanks for joining me here at Pouring Together for this special collaboration brought to you by Cynthia Porter Studio. Cindy is not only an amazing fluid artist, but I would say she is also an amazing support to her fellow fluid artists and the fluid art community as a whole. Please visit Cynthia Porter Studio and check out her video and her channel. In this collaboration, 13 other amazing fluid artists are using Spontaneous Creations by Brian's super special fluid art toys. Now, as you can see, I'm taking this sky blue color that I have that is going to be my fluid art extender and I'm painting the exterior edges of my canvas and by the way, I'm on a 16 by 20 deep edge gallery wrap canvas and so I'm painting those edges just to keep them kind of tacky and sticky and so that when I do my pour that the image and the design will stick to not only the surface of the canvas but the edges and not have that kind of wearing kind of thinned out look on the edge. There is my toy, which is the Hexitube. Now you see me getting a cup together. Uh, it's a little off to the side and all, but what I am doing is I am layering a cup and I figured this would be an interesting way to do the Hexitube. I'm going to layer a cup and I'm gonna pour around the six holes in the hexatube with a pre-layered cup, just to do something kind of a little different, kind of mix it up. Look at that cup of cup of pretty colors as I pour it around the hexatube. I love to see how that pattern just starts developing through the tubes at the bottom. It's so awesome. Whether you're an experienced fluid artist or someone who's new to the world of paint pouring, I would suggest getting some of these toys, like go to Spontaneous Brian's Etsy shop and get some of these toys and have fun, explore and experience what these toys can do. Looking at this design also reminds me of one of my best friends in fluid art and paint pouring and probably one of the most amazing mentors that I've ever had is Sarah Mack. And this pour kind of reminds me of what I can remember back to when I first got into fluid art and paint pouring. And I watched her pour over a pumpkin. And I will highlight that with a card in this video so you guys can check out her video from that paint pouring over a ceramic pumpkin. And uh, just as a little pro tip, um, this is something that I've thought about as time has gone on. Um, in paint pouring with acrylic paints, acrylic paints can sometimes dry darker. And a good pro tip is to, in your medium tone value colors, um, add a little titanium white to those colors and that will help create a more bright, composition with those colors especially when they dry because acrylic paints tend to dry a little darker okay I love to talk about what I did do and what I could have done better and honestly with this whole design I should have done 
more as far as I should have layered this even more. I should have let this whole design radiate and ooze out and keep going out and expand to the edges of the canvas, at least from the vertical and lower end of the canvas. Like, and that way it would have been easier to tilt off and stretch out without losing kind of the floral, you know, beautiful design that is now. Like you see it now and you see that I'm putting my fluid art extender around the edge of the canvas, but honestly, I think I should have ballooned this out even more. This is not a square canvas or a circular canvas, so I should have ballooned it out until it almost or did touch the edges either vertically or horizontally. Yeah, because I didn't really feel like I used enough paint to expand the image from the hexatube. Um, after I started stretching this out, I decided to use this as a background and I re-poured another design from the hexatube like a flower. And I was much happier with that design. If you're just tuning in now uh, to this premiere train, Jack was right before me. Please go check his channel out at JHA Art Studio and yeah, go back and watch his, his premiere video. I'm going to put a list of all of the channels in my description box so you can go back and check out everybody's uh, videos on this great Toy Express collaboration train. If you like this video and you want to show me some love, please like the video. Hit that like button. And please also subscribe to my channel. And when you do, ring the bell and hit the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. And please leave me a comment because I really want to hear from you. And you're all my friends. And even if it doesn't have anything to do with this video, reach out to me. I just like to hear from you. You want to come with me? Taking away, yeah, we're taking away. Don't hesitate now. We're taking away, yeah, we're taking away. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what my deal is lately, and if if some of you have been watching some of my other videos, my latest video um, that was from the favorite pores collaboration uh, had to do with going somewhere tropical and you know being somewhere by the water, and that was Mermaid Lagoon. I'll put. Uh, card up for that one in the right hand corner so you can go check that out but I guess I am having a little bit of winter blues and so in this uh, pour I wanted to now do another uh, hexatube uh, pour so I get another kind of flower and it almost looks like kind of like a blue hibiscus flower you'll see what I do when I uh, move my skewer through it to kind of form this more flower shape and I think I'm going to call this one Blue Hawaii. Here I'm getting out my balloon and I'm doing a few balloon rolls, trying to do some balloon rolls, get some movement around the canvas and doing some kind of balloon kisses uh, to create interest around uh, the image of that, you know, kind of more central blue hibiscus and even get out, you know, I'll use my dowel to like pull some style lines through it where I need to. but. I'm also going to get out um, a toy that I <laughs> that I also got from uh, I purchased off Amazon uh, after watching my friend Tiffany Romine um, do her um, some of her videos. I really love her channel, 
um, and she, she is such, she is, she is like my spirit animal. I just love her. She is so funny. If you get a chance, you need to check her channel out. I will put that up on the screen. Um, but the, um, the toy is the catalyst wedge and it's really pretty cool because it's made out of silicone. So it has some flexibility to it and you can swipe with it. As you see what I'm doing here now, I took some like Amsterdam white and swiped through it. Um, but you can also use it to wreck, um, you know, ring pours or straight pours. It's just really fun, and I just love the way it feels in my hand. And uh, like I said, watching her videos, um, check some of her videos out because she really kind of just made me want to purchase one of those and have some fun with it. Hey, as I said earlier, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And, you know, subscribe to my channel. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Show me some love. Ring that bell and you'll be alerted when I upload new videos. And please leave me a message. I really want to hear from you. I love hearing from everybody. I love the connected community that we have in the fluid art community. And let's reach out to each other and let's leave each other messages. And stay connected. Well, I have really enjoyed doing this collaboration um, on Brian's uh, Toy Express. Brian, these paint pouring toys are amazing and I really thoroughly enjoyed this. It took me out of my comfort zone, uh, but we all need that. And I uh, used some colors with that magenta in there that I don't normally use, but I really love this. It's definitely different than something I normally do and um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I think now the incredible Doris Ford is up next after me and I know she is going to have an amazing pour using uh, I think multiple toys in her pour so I'm excited to see that and everybody let's head on over to Doris and uh, let's see what she's got going on. <laughs> well I hope you've enjoyed watching me play around with my hexatube and please come back and visit me again soon for some more fun pouring together.